In today's Dahlia painting, I will be demonstrating how I added extra petals after the painting has been finished. So you guys can actually add extra petals just to fill in uh, some empty space, maybe that, um, you know, too much negative space and you want to make it a little bit more full. This is how I do it. I just simple add some extra layers by just pouring paint in a puddle and then I swipe outwards with the spoon. All right, guys. So in today's video, I will be demonstrating exactly how I do that. Guys, stay tuned. You're going to love this one. hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is your girl Camille thank you so much for being here today I want to do just a simple demonstration uh, it's an experiment as well of how I adjust or maybe mend my dahlias after I've completed swiping the painting all right so I actually go ahead and added some extra petals by first pouring paint in puddles and then swiping it outwards. So today's painting was actually an, an experiment. I wanted to just play around with it. I did not want to do a circular, too much of a circular symmetrical dahlia. I wanted to make it off centered. I just wanted to make it, you know, just a little bit different. You know, maybe the top have a little bit more petals from the bottom. So that's, that's what I was trying to accomplish today. So instead of pouring the paint, in a circle and then swapping it out, I decided to pour the paint in puddles like dots and then swiping it outwards just to see if I could create singular petals by doing that. So I started out by doing that and uh, it actually did not work as planned. So then I went back to my circles. <laughs> But you know what guys it's fun and um, you know I'm just experimenting because you know I want to see how far I can actually take this Dahlia painting so you know it's something that um, I'm just playing around with and I just want to have some fun with it and yeah I just want to share my experience with you so bear with me I just do hope you guys enjoy it I mean the colors are beautiful um, and doing it on the black background does make the colors pop even more so go ahead and check out the colors I'm using of course it's listed in the description box below let me use this opportunity to say thank you to all my returning viewers and my returning subscribers thank you so very much for being here I really do appreciate all of you guys and um, I cannot say thank you enough and uh, for my new viewers I want to say welcome to my channel I do have great contents to share and of course if you do check out my playlist I do have various techniques that you guys can always go ahead and check out and um, of course you know learn something from and um, remember art is fun just make it your own and uh, yeah just have fun with it guys all right so do give me a thumbs up if you do love today's painting and uh, like and share my videos with your friends and families of course and um, yeah do leave me a nice comment and um, if you're new and you haven't subscribed as yet please consider subscribing like and share my videos of course guys you know and um, hit that notification bell you have to hit all so that you're notified each time I post a new video all right so thank you guys so much and I want you to relax and just enjoy today's painting and just remember that it's an experiment and um, I'm just having fun with my dahlias all right guys so just enjoy and I will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result thank you
Let's check out the close-up of the wet result what do you guys think about this one the colors are vibrant i love it i do hope you guys love the colors as much as i do the paint in itself it's different and um i do love it and of course uh, that's one of the reasons why i'm showing you guys today because you know what i love it it's different and um i really want to show you how i adjusted um, the negative space by adding some extra petals along the sides. I hope you guys were watching how I was doing that. So if you decide to do try this one, you know, you guys can always, you know, don't scrape your painting. 
you know fix it you know remember you own the art okay so make it your own and uh, just adjust if you need to if you have to scrape off a section scrape off a section and try and fix it you don't have to completely uh, scrape your canvas you know so um, yeah leave me a like a comment in the comment section below and of course guys if you do decide to try this technique at home remember each time you swipe to wipe your spoon all right you need a clean spoon to swipe at each time all right guys so let's check out the close-up of a dried result coming up next here it is all dried it dried well i love it oh my goodness i am um, i'm just so happy that um the colors remain just as vibrant there is no finish on it there's no varnish or resin on this one as yet so yeah the colors remain just as beautiful and i love it what do you guys think about today's painting let me know in the comment section below and of course like and share my videos with your friends and family check out my playlist as well guys and i will see you next time on camille amoy art bye